What's happening guys, it's Nate, Scott, and Bill here. We are reviewing the brand new Wilson Clash V2. Not even out yet, it will be out February 18. As you can see, they did an amazing job with the aesthetic, but we've got to talk about the performance. For sure, it's a good looking stick, and I'm sure you're wondering two things. How does this racket play? And who is Bill, right? <laughs> right. So Bill actually works in tech here at Player Court, but he's also an amazing tennis player. And yes, you do have to play at a very high skill level to even work here. That's not actually true, but How Bill is a, is a high level player, <laughs> played with the old version of the Clash, so can come in here and give us a true side-by-side -side comparison yeah. of, of what's new and how the two size up against each other. So some of you out there may be wondering, are we sponsored by Wilson? We wear Wilson all the time. We both play yes. with Wilson Rackets. And the answer is yes, we do have a partnership with Wilson. Yeah, and we're sponsored by Wilson because we love their rackets. But the deal that we have with them, I'm sure if you've watched our channel by now, you know we like to give it to you straight. We, uh, we don't BS with you. So we're going to give you a real review of this. The partnership we have with Wilson is that we're going to tell the absolute truth about how we feel about their products. We, of course, pick the rackets that we love to play with. But today we're talking about the Clash. All right, Nate, so let's jump in. Tell us a little bit about this new technology here. Right out of the gates, perhaps the biggest change is Wilson's revised layup throughout the top of the hoop, which increases stability and increases the sweet spot by 16%. And this is absolutely noticeable in all of the frames that we play tested. Wilson also updated the previous version by using carbine mapping. This is their patented technology, which they refer to as 45. This allows for extreme flexibility while maintaining stability throughout the stroke. For those of you who love flex feel, you'll continue to love the 45 Tech. And up next is one of my personal favorite features, the Direct Connect technology, which actually fuses the butt cap directly to the carbon fiber portion of the handle, and this adds for stability. So for you players out there that can't stand the creaky butt caps, this completely resolves that issue. And finally, we have to talk about the aesthetic of the racket. The embossing franchise logo and new design template pushes the boundaries of tennis racket design. And I mean that. This thing is a stunner. You can't miss it from two courts over. All right, so let's talk first about the 100 Pro. Um, for those of you who have seen our channel and watched me play, I have an Eastern forehand grip. I hit the ball very flat. So the open string pattern, the ability to get topspin are all great things that aren't super applicable to me in particular. But of the four frames, this is definitely the one that, that I like the most. I feel like I'm getting a ton of power on my ground strokes. Um, the kick serve felt unbelievable. So there's definitely aspects of this racket that I liked. Overall, just not really a fit for my game style, but if you're looking for easy access to power, easy access to topspin, really any of these four frames I think are a great fit. This one probably being the best fit for a higher level player, I would say, yeah? yeah. Yeah, it was my favorite racket of the four that we, we play tested. Um, and maybe bias, I mean, I love the aesthetic. My favorite band happens to be The Clash. It's named The Clash. <laughs> but playing with a semi-Western grip, the big access to spin and, and pace was really, really nice. I struggled, a lot of you know I, I, out there that I recently switched to a one-hander. I struggled a little bit with the one-hander with the weight. Um, you know, I've been playing with the blade, which has a higher swing weight, a little bit stiffer, not a ton, but, but it, it allowed for more plow through. Now where I saw some big, big gains was, like you said, on the kick serve. And I actually was surprised how much I liked it on the volleys because of the Same. maneuverability. Same, yeah. Typically like a really heavy racket through the volleys, but man, this thing, feel and the ability to kind of easily punch the ball in the court was Same a big Same on the win. slice backhand, like that plop through the slice backhand. Like I play with the fed stick, the heavy boy. So I, I don't know why you would think the fed stick would actually feel better on a slice backhand, like it, but, yeah. but it was so much easier for me to maneuver through it with this thing that this actually felt amazing for me on the slice backhand. So, so probably the most important testimonial is Bill because <laughs> Bill sure. played with the original. You've played with the other uh, Clash for a while now, right? So yeah, I did. Uh, I gamed the Clash for about a year now. Um, I liked it a lot. There was easy access to spin, and um, it was ultra flexible, which I needed for my shoulder. Uh, there were some deficiencies with it, however. It did have a tendency to float um, if you didn't give a, a full swing on it to access the spin. Um, and it felt a little unique, which I wasn't necessarily uh, a fan of. Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about, like, we're going to tell the truth on this channel. I'll be honest with you, I did not like the old Clash at right. all. Like, we didn't do a play review on it, fortunately, I guess, for Wilson. But the new one, it's a different universe. Oh, they got it right. They got it right with the new one. They addressed, um, they addressed the control issues. They added an extra string there, so it's now a 16 by 20 instead of a 16 by 19. That tightens up the string bed, and it just feels a lot more controlled. It, it feels yep. like you can absolutely put the ball where you want it to, 
and you don't have the issues where you got balls flying sometimes. It's, uh, it definitely feels a lot better. Your um, previous class, you'd, you'd added a little bit of weight. I did, yes. Um, I didn't, again, I, I felt like I was getting bullied around the court a little bit with it, so to, to combat that, I added some weight to the, to the head. Didn't have to do that with this one. Uh, I you feel like it's cut like oh, some yeah. fit out of the box. It, it absolutely does. My returns feel amazing with it. I, it really does. Um, I can step into the court and uh, especially on the backhand side, I really feel like I can I can hit the ball out. Which is bad news for Scott and I because Bill's already got a great return. So if his <laughs> right. return gets any better, that's going to be extremely annoying. But I think this was the winner for all of us, right? Like out of all of them, the 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 Hunter Pro was was the winner. But there are other versions, so let's talk about the other. Wilson Clash 100. So the Clash V2 100 is probably the closest to the original Clash coming in at 100 square inches, the 16 by 19 string pattern as opposed to the 16 by 20 that we see in the Pro and coming in at 10.4 as, as far as a weight and a swing weight at 295. Um, I liked this one. I did like the new mapping, the 16% increase in sweet spot. I noticed that out of the gates compared to the old Clash and the feel of it. I had a disconnect when I first, when I, I've had, as you know, I've had a ton of arm issues. I immediately tried the Clash because if there's a racket that's gonna help your arm or any kind of tendonitis issues that you may be having, that's the racket. And I just felt disconnected. That was Bill's biggest feedback, right? Yeah. Like you were having big time arm and shoulder issues, put this in your hand, it's like a shock absorbing racket all yeah, of a sudden, Yeah, it's, right? it's, it all went away. That is yeah. like the big thing for me with yeah. this racket yeah, is how flexible it is. It so is I true. feel like this is probably the closest <laughs> to the original Clash, but the new technology does have a much more connected feel. Probably too light for, I mean, I could probably customize it. It was it was real light for me. Like I so again, I'm biased, flat forehand, eastern grip, but playing with a 12 ounce racket. Um, it felt really good coming off the strings, but then I was missing everything a bit deep. So just a little bit light for me. The feel though, I mean everything you're saying I, I agree with. Um, if you're hitting a, a bigger, flatter ball playing at like a 5-0 plus level, probably you're gonna shift more towards the pro, don't you think? Yeah, or customize this. Like, yeah. What'd yeah, you, what'd you some, think? Some lead uh, tape. So I, I like the racket. I thought it was a little light, um, but uh, I think it generated a little more spin, probably because of the 16 by 19 string pattern. Um, I Take could, this with I a could grain custom, of salt, too, because yeah. we're all playing four or five plus. I mean, if I think that could be the perfect racket for most rec players that yeah. are looking to, yeah, to dampen issues with, with arm pain or that's what I was going to add on is, easy is to as power a coach, spin. if I was working with someone that's not, not someone brand new, but someone that's, you know, is just getting into the game, maybe even played for a year or so, and they're looking for something friendly that's not, you know, super heavy. This, this racket offers a lot. Under the hood, um, the specs allow for a lot of forgivability, the 100 square inches, you know, not as many miss hits. So if you're playing, I would say, what do you think? A three, five, four, oh level, this racket is. I think the large adequate. majority of tennis players, this is gonna be, of the four, this is gonna be the most applicable. All mm -hmm. right, so let's talk about the 98, the, the only 98 in the group. Uh, I liked it. Um, I, I will say, I know the specs stay the same, but it felt to me it a little different. different. It felt different than the, it didn't feel as substantial as, as the 100 Pro. It just felt a little, I don't know. It, it felt a little lighter to me than the 100 Pro. I know the specs stay the same, and I couldn't begin to tell you why, but it definitely did not feel as substantial to me as Particularly as the on the ground strokes. So yeah. I agree completely. It just, yeah. The 98 was my second favorite of the three rackets, but I'm, again, that's the one thing we're all bewildered by. It's like the specs yeah, are yeah. the same as the, the Pro, but the Pro has some beef to it, like the plow through yeah. of, the, of the Pro. Um, and, and this is when the ball's coming in hot. You know, Bill and Scott hit a big ball. You want to make sure that if you're a little bit late that you have that plower that you can shorten the swing and still get the ball back through. The 98 lacked it a little bit, but I, I really enjoyed the maneuverability um, up around the net on the serve. I was actually impressed with how yeah. much pace I could get. Kitcher Honestly, all four, all, all, maybe not the 108, maybe not the big boy, yeah. but, but all four, I mean, the other three, all felt very, very good on the serve, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The return of serve is where I noticed the plow broke down with the 98. Yep. The pro, I was like, if, if you're hitting the a buck 15 or whatever else, I'm like, yep. oh, okay, that thing's getting through the ball. The, the 98 kind of lacked that same plow. Yeah, I'd say if sure. you're an advanced player that, um, that doesn't like the 100 square inch head, you know, a lot of the advanced players like the smaller heads. Uh, if you like the 98 square inch head, go with that one and then maybe customize it, add a little bit of weight uh, in the hoop and I think it'd be just about perfect. If for you were going to demo too, I would size the pro up against it for sure. Yeah. So lastly, the 108. This racket <laughs> it's a is a big boy. 
Yeah, it's 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 got a big rocket head. This is obviously not a rocket that's that's geared towards really advanced players. Um, but if you're a little bit older, you have a very compact stroke. If you like being up at the net, you want to be connected with a lot of feel, or you need more power, this is a rocket that's fantastic for you. And I, of all the, we have a lot of players that come in and we demo and whatnot. Um, you know, as coaches, and we're we always give you know, new players, something that's friendly. This rocket was unique because it had a little bit more control than we're used to yep. for most 108s. Yeah, it's, it's still it's plenty like of pop. raw power. It's like, yep. it's like you think 108, you're thinking like you're going to hit that ball Launching. and it's just going to fly, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. had, had pretty decent control, but definitely reserved for more of the, the, uh, the, a newer player or somebody that has very compact strokes. As we get a little bit older, it's nice to have a bigger racket. We're not taking these big wild swings. So the 108's what Nate would probably play with. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's uh, low-hanging fruit, Scotty. So, um, but all in all, I think we all agree the the update's really nice. What is? I mean, m probably my favorite thing is the direct connect. It's absolutely my favorite thing, and that was first introduced to me, I think, with the new blade. Right? Yep. Was that the first racket that that was yep. on? So yeah, I mean, honestly, you heard if you watched the review there, I almost switched to the blade, and I come to realize that it was just the direct connect technology felt so much better than any of the other rackets. Yeah. Um, so now when you apply that to the Clash, think about the direct tech kick technology on top of the fact that you've got all these other features that are sort of dampening. It, it really just feels good to hit. Yeah. yeah, it's an absolute game changer, especially compared to the previous Clash that doesn't have that. I mean, anyone that's gamed the previous Clash that turnarounds and feels these, you'll notice the Night difference. Day, it, sure. it is a huge the, the, difference. The six, the mappy, are you talking about the mappy or the direct connect? Direct connect. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just, the squeaky handles. If you play with Babylon heads and I mean, older, older yeah, versions the handles are stapled on. It's just, they just get old squeaky school technology technology time. Yeah, now. they just get squeaky. But um, but the 16% the increase in sweet spot to me was a marketable difference. This clash is a win in my book because of the, I'm connected to it. The other one I didn't feel as connected to. So. This one will be interesting. I think I will be playing. I mean, I love my blade, but I will have to investigate this because, as you know, a ton arm of arm issues. issues. Yeah. Maybe this is the answer, and it and, and the pro felt like a player's racket mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I would definitely say if uh, you know the the advanced player didn't really gravitate towards the clash previously, I'd say don't sleep on this one if you're an advanced player. Yeah, this opens doors that didn't exist with the right. previous clash. I will absolutely say that as a high level player hitting with the previous clash, I was like, no chance. Mm -hmm. Particularly with the pro. This is a valid option. So I think uh, that wraps up the, our reviews of the four clashes here, guys. Definitely check these out. When do they come out? February 18th, I believe. February 18th. So keep your eyes peeled for the launch of the clash. We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.